for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Man. She's always got a top five passing play video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be showing you the five most explosive passing plays. Some I've already put out on YouTube and some that I haven't even put out yet. Some are just in my ebooks alone, uh, which is a perfect opportunity for me to plug my ebooks. Link in the description. I got the Raiders out and the Niners out. They're very similar. They have a lot of the same money plays, but without a doubt, two of the best playbooks in the game. So, if you guys want to see more videos like this, more, you know, top five run plays, top five defense. Woo! Defenses, hit the like button let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see next other than that let's go and skip right into the video but the next play would probably be the drive corner on the defensive side we're going to start off with tampa two and then we're going to work our way back to to cover three cover four and things like that man coverage like we typically do so we'll start off with tampa two now before i get into this video i just wanted to say this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoeah.com if you guys want to support this channel and get your mutt team up at the same time make sure to check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off so let's go let's get right into the play like i said against cover two there's really not a ton of, of things you need to do i would just say streaking this x route would be enough because i'm really going to be attacking this y route this y route here it doesn't dramatically arc the same way that you know maybe like a, a corner route would like you might have in like a bench corner or a bench switch concept or something like that we're going to move the ball over because i got i got a pass lead quite a bit based off of this angle the angle that the y route is running compared to like i don't know if there if there's another play that has um, a, like a traditional corner route if I left myself like the A route on this play on the Z spot which is kind of like a traditional corner route this is more like a man beating version of a corner route it doesn't arc as dramatically but I still find that that's that's a, that's a positive because you're going to see how this this particular play beats a lot of different defenses based off of that so like I said right here all I'm doing is waiting for that uh, that streak to pull that guy back and I could be hitting a one play touchdown against cover two if I just would have caught that ball in bounds a little bit now I could block the running back on a play like this if, if I know I'm looking at a cover two but realistically that running back is a good cover three check down so I don't necessarily want to do that but you can see this play it does take a little bit of time as I'm getting a little bit of pressure to get this ball off but it's it's still I mean any deep route is going to have that issue now the drive corner doesn't really have a ton of usefulness against cover three or cover four drop but it does have some very explosive plays against cover four quarters and man coverages. Anything where you see a matching concept style cover four, it's going to be a very glitchy one play touchdown, uh, which I, it's a defense I see a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I see a lot of cover four quarters online. I said this play here, I don't really need to do anything. If anything, motioning this guy out, because I'm going to motion this guy out a lot in this formation. Motioning him out will basically ISO him to this uh, safety here, which is basically what I'm trying to attack anyway as I get in under pressure. Like I said, once again, got to block that running back i keep forgetting to do that and i get a ton of one play touchdowns with this particular play because you can see these safeties look how he just bites inside you'll see that pretty much every time and you're gonna have an easy uh one play touchdown as long as i bullet and pass lead to the outside now let's do that again this time i block the running back so i give myself a little bit of protection because i don't really you know you only have you only need four routes for this play to work anyway so let's go ahead and let's get this off one time properly and you can see it's just an easy one play touchdown against a pretty good safety uh Diggs is actually one of the better, um, you know, I think he's like an 80 plus overall safety. So he's a good player. I mean, I, I think he's a higher rated safety than Samuel is a, a rated receiver if I, had to, if I had to guess. So like I said, real easy. Cover four, anything cover four related, like I said, cover six, anything. It's going to be a one play touchdown to this receiver as I've scored a ton of touchdowns using that exact same concept. This route is also a really good man beating route, which is another thing I see a lot. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll run it against, we'll run it against mid blitz to start. This play here has a lot of good check downs, so make sure you block the running back on this one because I definitely don't have enough uh, receivers. But the speed out here is a really good play if you're, if you're catching a lot of heat. You just have to wait until he's outside the cornerback. And then I typically like to bullet and pass lead away. But you can see that's a route that it's an easy check down. The drags, all these routes beat man, really. All, all four of these routes that I'm leaving myself are man beaters if you throw them at the right time. The A route's a really good man beater, although there, um, I thought that I threw that a little bit early. Uh, but the drag, I mean, everything is. But the drag and the A route are probably going to be user covered, if anything. So that's why I'm saying that the other, you know, the speed out route's probably best. And then, like I said, this guy right here, just as long as I get a little bit of time, uh, as you can see, pressure's the, the, the only real issue. You. So just as long as you block the running back and they're not sending too much heat, you should have plenty of uh, you know time and plenty of 
uh, separation to hit a one play touchdown against uh, cover zero easily. All the man coverages should be the same, including cover two man, which we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick next. So we're gonna pick a cover two man. So against cover one, cover zero, it's pretty much gonna be the same. You're gonna have all the same routes open, but against cover two, you're gonna wanna put this X route on a streak so you can pull that safety back. And then this is pretty much going to be another really big play. As you can see that safety has to react as I run out of bounds a yard short of the end zone, but as that safety has to react to that streak. So I'm also gonna slide my protection because I typically like to uh, to roll in the direction of the throw just to shorten it. So like I said, real easy play here. You can see the cover two safety is lost in no man's land and I'm not getting good catch and run animations at all. As you can see right there, we don't get uh, the touchdown again. But I mean, if I had a really speedy receiver, let's do that one more time. If I had a really speedy receiver, this is a one play touchdown against any any man coverage, any man coverage, any zone coverage, if we just get a good rack catch here, and you can see we're scoring one play touchdown. So any man coverage is a one play touchdown, cover four quarters and cover two zone, this is a one play touchdown. Now the PA post dig is a very good play against pretty much any zone coverage. We're gonna start off uh, and match it uh, against a cover two like we typically do, and then we're gonna work our way back. So we'll start off with a Tampa two. So this play here, I mean, this this route, the B route, there's only two routes on this play. The B route is going to be the route that pretty much beats every single defense. So all I'm going to do is motion this guy across and put the X route here on a streak. That's all I really have to do. Uh, I can, you know, the, the Y route there, he's on a check and release, but I can put him on a flat. I can do any number of things. And this is pretty much going to be a gigantic play once this guy breaks outside. Now, that wasn't a very good throw. I probably should have a catch and run touchdown there. I'll have even better results if I move the ball over which some of these plays you're going to have to run it from the hash mark to have success so we're going to do it one more time like I said, this is a very easy concept i like that you're motioning this guy over to a bunch too i mean this is a very simple bunch concept but you can have a lot of success with this so let's go let's do that one more time like i said get a little bit of a better pass lead and you're going to see how we have a very explosive play although i mean i probably could have a one play touchdown if i did a little bit of a better job catching or running but i'm not going to continue so let's go let's move on to the next defense the next defense and you probably see is the most offense is a cover three match so let's go and let's pick that so this cover three play is not like a lot of other cover three plays we got to run it from a hash mark you can run this from anywhere all we're going to do to make this play work is put the X route in drag and put the A route in a streak. And the cover three uh, one-play touchdown is going to be to the B route. It's a very simple setup. Um, you're basically just waiting for this guy to cross. And then once he gets through this area here, you can see we're going by like five to ten yards where the cornerback or the safety aren't even close. We're going to do that again. You do have a check and release in the Y route which, you know, that'll have some success if you don't have the one-play touchdown. That is a good check down, so don't forget about that. So if you're on current gen or old gen, I'm not really sure what it's called, anything other than next gen, I find for these plays to work, you typically have to roll in the direction of the throw, and I typically like to do that anyway. So I'm going to slide my protection to the left, and I'm going to block my running back because that play action is not really helping me out. And like I said, I typically find it's best. It really holds the cornerback down even more. And then you can see, once again, we're just getting ridiculous one play touchdowns over the top. So that's cover two zone, cover three zone. How about cover four zone? This one's probably going to be the best against that. So we'll pick the PA post it one more time. On the defensive side, I'm not sure where they have a cover four. It's probably going to have one here. So we'll go cover four drop contain. So it's going to be the exact same setup with the exception of the A route. Um, I really feel like that A route is such a stupid blocking animation. I'm just going to put him on a drag because ultimately that's something that um, it just doesn't help at all. He just like runs into the quarterback. You can also slant the X route. That'll have success, but you got to motion out this B route. And then once this B route gets inside of that safety, once again, you can see that he's getting very gone. Now that, for whatever reason, I didn't catch the ball. I guess it was just a bad throw. See, even if I, if I, you know, if I want to get rid of what Darren Waller is doing, I can just basically put him on a route and then pass block him again because that's a stupid animation. So we're going to take that away, give myself some real blocking now. Uh, we're going for that B route. So here we go one more time. So he just gets super passed. And that was Tyron Matthew lit up, which I typically like to light up superstars to show that it still matters. There's more stuff you can do with the post dig. It's also got very good man beating concepts. We'll go, we'll go with cover two man. You can have a lot of success against man coverages with a play like this, especially man cover two. The X route's a really good uh, route, so you'll have a very good check down, but you're going to get a much bigger play and a much easier play to the other route once again. So all I'm going to do is put the B route on a smart route. You're going to see at, at the original depth, he goes right into where the safety is. But if you shorten it, he'll cut that off to the point where he's right in front of the safety. And you can bullet, pass, lead away. And you get a very easy play right up the center of a cover two, zone, or cover two man. And then you can still do your drags. 
you know, things like that. Block your tight end. I don't really need that. So now I have, uh, you know, I got check downs to multiple levels here. And I have, you know, just very good plays against pretty much any man coverage. Was the halfback wheel. This is a very explosive uh, play. It has a lot of different one-play touchdowns you can create out of it. On the defensive side, we're going to start off with cover two and then work our way back because that's typically what I want to do. I want to show how each play can beat each individual um, defense. So we're going to pick Tampa 2 to start. So this first play, I mean, you know, this is a really good play. You can run this against just about anything. You can see this Y route's going to get open in the flat. The flats are always going to be there. There's a lot of really good dink and dunk check downs. Even the uh, the B route, which is crossing over. Like, this is a really good play. There's not a lot of, um, you know, adjustments needed if you're just going to run this play as is. It's a good dink and dunk play, just like the first video I put out. But if you put the B route on a streak, there's a couple things you can do to make this a very successful one-play touchdown against a lot of defenses. Against cover two, just streak that B route. And I find, number one, the RB route is going to be a really good option, again, because it's going to pull that cornerback back. But ultimately, the real plan here is the big play, which is going to be the A route. This is a simple cover two concept. You can do this out of a lot of different things. And then you can see how I'm just basically dotting up that coverage over there. So lots of things you can do there. You can motion the running back as well sometimes i do that if i'm trying to pull that cornerback down for the b route so this will actually um you know it's good something that'll uh, confuse your opponent a little bit but you can see i mean it just it just helps to create separation so it's something that you can do i would make a habit of motioning out this receiver who i put in george kittle because the niners don't have a good third receiver but i would get in the habit of motioning him out because it's going to be important when it comes to some of the cover three one play touchdowns let's go and let's move on to the cover three one play touchdown against cover three this is a good play uh just to work these flats i mean that's pretty much going to be your best option against cover three you can see he's you know the the coverage just plays back to the point where he's 10 yards down the field before there's even anybody in the area so just anytime somebody's playing cover three cover four just work the flats so against cover three i just want to make sure that i run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field that's going to be the most important thing uh, because you need to really you know create a lot of space so i'm going to run this from the left hash mark to the open side of the field on the right motion out you know this running back here just to motion that safety across that just brings the safety over into a little bit of a better area then i'm going to basically just streak the b route and streak the x route and that's all i really have to do and then this is going to be the play and then you're going to see that i can pretty much just bomb this up right between a giant cover three seam that's how you beat cover three you have to essentially create a much wider field so we're going to do that that again the only thing about this is like i'm going against jj watt i'm going to double team jj watt so if you don't know how to do that <laughs> that's not something you need to know for this video but if you're going against a superstar like this you're definitely going to have to do that so here we go once again like i said i'm getting hit I'm getting hit and you can see it's still a big play but there's a huge scene to be had i'm gonna do that one more time like i said i gotta make sure that i double team jj and I'm sliding my protection, all that. You know what I'm saying? I got the fullback over there. I got everybody trying to take take up some uh, some JJ Watt room. And then, like I said, you can see it's really easy. It's not a huge separation, but it's enough that you can score easy one play touchdowns against cover three. Now, this play will beat both cover fours. There's two different types of cover fours. There's cover four cores, which is like a cover four matching principle, and then there's cover four drop. This will beat both, but it'll do it in different ways. So we'll start off with cover four drop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm like I said, max pro, motion this guy out. Put this A on a drag, put this B route on a smoke, and that's all she wrote. So you're basically just gonna be buying time. Hopefully JJ Watt didn't double team him, so hopefully he can handle it. And now you can see once this guy gets inside that first safety, even though there's a superstar safety back there, he's not gonna make that play. Now the play itself is out of the gun bunch offset, and the play is called the double post. So the best way to use this play to me is against cover three. It's an amazing uh, cover three one play touchdown. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to pick cover three sky. It really doesn't matter. So to me, this is one of the glitchier cover three one play touchdowns in the game. Uh, and it's going to be something your opponent will never expect. I think it's best to run it from the hash mark, but I've had success running it from anywhere on the field, to be honest with you. I'm going to run it the best way, though, to get the best reaction, to make, really make this cornerback over here glitch out. And I just remembered, I want to make sure that Tredavious White, I want to put Tredavious White to a point where he can be lit up, by the way. I, I, I want that... I want him to get an interception here, which I, I almost messed up. There we go. He got an interception. Cool. So now that, uh, you know, Jadavis White is lit up, I'm going to, you know, glitch him out. Even with him being in, um, you know, in the zone, I'm going to glitch him out right now. All you have to do is put this RB route on a fade, and you're going to see how he's essentially not going to know how to react to all this coverage responsibility. And you can see we get a very easy one play touchdown over the top. Now, that was pretty good coverage by the safety. So I'm going to do it again. Like I said, that's why sometimes it's best to motion this guy out. 
it takes away from your protection a little bit because if he's in the backfield you can um actually you know pass block him i don't think it really affects the play at all i'll do it like that here in a second but you can see once again easy hesitation and we're getting like five yards of separation easily over one of the better cornerbacks in the game while he's in the zone so like i said you see there now he's not lit up anymore um but yeah i mean like i said if i want to i can pass block him i can slide my protection none of this matters the b route is what that uh what that cornerback's reacting to that's what Tredavious white is reacting to uh and you can see right there no running back going to that area it doesn't really matter it's he's not reacting to the fact that there's multiple routes in that area so that running back is really capable of doing whatever you want him to do play can be cover for a drop and cover for pawns but it does it in different ways we're going to pick that um, all you really have to do against cover four drop is put the X route here on a, on a smoke route. That's all you really have to do. I, I can put this guy here on a streak just to try to pull coverage back and block my running back. All these things are not really important. But the RB route will get past that cornerback pretty easily, which he really shouldn't be able to do. Now, you do need an elite speed receiver for this to work. But if you have a guy like Tyree Hill, you're playing regs or something like that, which is essentially what I'm in, um, you know, Jalen Waddle, you can see that you can have success. But ultimately, um, this is not something that's going to work in a mutt, I would say. Uh, but you can definitely, um, you know, this is definitely something that uh, you can have people pulling their hair out online. You can see, like I said, once again, if you have an elite speed guy, you're going to get past that cornerback, which you really shouldn't do. Also has a lot of success against cover four mats, which is cover four palms, cover four quarters, stuff like that. This play here uh, against cover four, I would say the best thing to do would be to motion out the running back again and just put them uh, both the X route and the running back on uh, 10 yard comeback routes. That's all you really have to do. Block the A route and that's all she wrote. The RB route will just smoke any safety across the field. Now there's some pressure there. That's the only downside to motioning out that running back. Let's go and let's do that again. You can see that he was past it. Cover four quarters is pretty easy to beat if you know how, um, but this is pretty much it. Like I said, this RB route, the second he gets inside of that safety, and this is one of the best secondaries in the game, by the way. It's one of the best safeties in the game in uh, Poyer, uh, one of the best secondaries in the game, and it just does not matter. Just getting absolutely roasted. You can run it as is, and the RB route will still get open because he's fast, but ultimately you can see with that other safety, he's just gonna do a slightly better job. So you can run it as is, but if you wanna run it, the best possible way motion out this running back and uh you know this is pretty much the play here I mean, you got six blockers i can put kaseki on a block and i can double team guys and all that stuff and still have a lot of success and then waddle's just gonna roast just about any safety in the game against man cover one the rb route's still the play i just want to dress it up i'm gonna put the b route on a streak and put the a route on a drag or a pass block it really doesn't matter you have the running back as a check down and then you have the rb route which he's just going to get across the formation in a hurry like i said i mean that's just this this route here it's a pretty good route i mean it beats a lot of different coverages and that's the four verticals we're going to start off with that on the defensive side we're going to start off with tampa two and then work our way back he said this is a really glitchy play he doesn't even really need a lot of adjustments i feel like they have an option route on the x side uh, because they really just don't want that play to be as broken as it is. So we're just going to put that play on a streak. That's all I really have to do. The B route's already on a streak. We can block our running back if we want. But the two wheel routes are going to have a lot of success when it comes to beating these defenses. We don't really have very good receivers out there doing this either. Other than, you know, we do have um, Darren Waller. But you can see how that's a really big play. It's going to be a really big play on both sides. I can go to the I can go to Waller's side as well, and it's going to be the exact same thing. As cover twos just don't do a very good job of flipping their hips once these receivers run past them. So you got a very big cover two play on both sides of the field. But where this play really makes its uh, money is against cover three. So let's go and let's pick cover three. It's a really big play against cover three. I'm not sure if I have to motion this over, but once again, just having those inside guys on streaks is really all that matters. And this is going to be a one-play touchdown to both sides. Obviously, I'm going to choose Henry Ruggs this side more often than the other side, but we're going to be able to hit a home run up this team on both sides with this play. So let's go and let's do that again. You can put these guys on fades too. I find that fades do a little bit of a better job. Um, as far as like avoiding, uh, look how gone that guy is. I mean, like I said, he's not fast. I don't even know who that guy is. I'm pretty sure he was the uh, rookie last year out of Minnesota, but I don't even know. As you can see, he's just, he's not a fast receiver, but these these plays are just getting ridiculously over the top one play touchdowns. So right here, we'll do that B route once again. Like I said, as long as that bullet and pass get outside. If you're on old gen consoles, you have to roll in the direction of the throw. A lot of times, I know a lot of people have been saying that these plays don't work on the older generation consoles, but as long as you roll out, 
you can you can make these plays work. It's the exact same thing you see right there. Once again, the cornerback just lets that guy get right over the top of him, even though he's not fast. So for people in the comment section that want to say like, oh, it only works because Henry Ruggs is so fast. No, it works on both sides. It's the exact same play, the exact same read. It's just these outside cornerbacks really react to these wheel routes in ways that they probably shouldn't. This play can also have a lot of success against cover four because once again, uh, these routes are going to pull back. I mean, I'm not saying that they're going to have one play touchdown results, but you could steal these wheel routes all game against these uh, coverages that, you know, basically play deep first. So it's like I can just basically get this out here and just steal this underneath because they're going to be following back the streaks. So that'll have the same success against cover three also. But like I said, if I could just t steal this all game and, and annoy someone in a cover four, I'm getting 10 to 15 every time I do this. And it does the exact same thing against cover three, which begs the question, what's really getting covered out here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you could do, obviously the one play touchdowns there. Uh, we already saw that. But, you know, I mean, I, I'm obviously going to choose the one play touchdown, but it's still kind of crazy that these wheel routes are so broken that you're stealing an instant 10 yards in the flat pretty much every time if you want to do that like i said the reality is everybody's going to want to one play touchdown but it's like you can if you just need a quick 10 yards you can take that or you can take the home run nothing's getting covered here that's the thing about this play against cover three everything is wide open now you can also have success against man coverage this is a man cover two it's going to have the same type of success as the wheel routes a lot of times don't get you know you just can't they, they just don't react really well to the wheel route. This is something that I wouldn't suggest running. You know, like, I have an elite tight end here, so that's probably part of the reason that he's beating him up the field. But ultimately, I mean, you can have success with this against even man coverages that typically don't have the type of success. You can have that same success against man cover one and man zero. See right here, that, that A route, he's just he's just beating up on, 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 uh, on uh, Matthew right there. As you can see, he just gets outside one of the best man cover safeties in the game. Other than that, I mean, a lot of times if these guys don't get pressed, like right there, I don't know, that's a man coverage right there. And he's just, I don't know if he beat the press that badly or if he's just, you know, this is just, like I said, it's a really glitchy play. Pretty much every one of these routes can beat man. You just really have to watch to see which one's getting where. There, the B route looks like he's over it. As we get another, you know, very big play, that's, you know, basically that fade and that speed advantage is going to get that open. But we're having success against a lot of different looks. Here the X route's open. <laughs> As he's just beating that press because of that fade. I mean, it's just it's just insane. Like every route here is like a one-play touchdown. Let's do this again. Like I said, this is a play. They're gonna have to patch this. Look at this. Look how easy this is. Look how easy this is. One play touchdowns all over the field right now. And then obviously with man zero, we're gonna have to do something a little bit different. So let's go ahead and let's pick an overstorm brave. Against man zero, just block the running back. You're gonna have pretty much the same results. Uh the A route here. It's probably still going to be my best bet because it's my best player. But we got Superstar on Superstar Crime going right now. <laughs> Damn, Waller is such a cheat code. Uh, but those those same routes will get open. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more plays from this formation, more plays from the Raiders, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.